I know that romantic love brings expectations instantly and feels small, but sometimes when I am shown profound kindness, it gets a little confusing and difficult to stay in that neutral place because uh, profound kindness is being um, accepted in the name of the person. You see, this profound kindness is actually a universal quality, you can say. You see, the profound kindness, universal love, universal being. We are something very expansive in this, no? But then the person comes in and says, "But can it?" But what happens is when I'm shown um, uh, profound kindness, I take it personally, and I want something out of that. And then it's, it becomes difficult to retain my neutrality. It's almost as though something is making some kind of deal, because yes. the 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 uh, the 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 strength or the bite or the neediness to have a sense of personal fulfillment is trying to hijack the greater love and to use it oh. for its own um, uh, uh, its own uh, fulfillment, which it can never be fulfilled. You cannot give up um, the the higher thing just to please the lower thing. Actually, move into the higher and feel the, the love uh, that uh, fills and en- encompasses everything. But be watchful rather than be too quick to feed and to try and satisfy the personal hunger. Watch out for him because he's a thief. And uh, you're used to his ways. But it's like there's a little bit of attachment, a little bit of uh, uh, neediness that comes with it. It's like a little drug, a little addiction, a little itch that wants that scratch. And it knows at a deeper level, the wisdom in you knows that it doesn't really work out like that. Something is calling for an higher, a higher, um, a, a higher movement towards the, the greater love and a more all-encompassing sense of wholeness in yourself. But uh, the small self, as it were, is. Uh, trying to get to use it to get the kind of satisfaction which it fantasizes will bring it the kind of satisfaction that it projects will be good for itself so you need to watch and discern that that is a lesser deal it's a con really and it will rob you of a great discovery that is happening in you and transform it into a momentary pleasure which will not last very long uh, uh, to fall in love with someone and feel the romance of love is not a, a negative thing, but when it comes to a choice uh, that is a higher of a higher order to move more into universal consciousness, to sacrifice that for a temporary state of um, of uh, this uh, um, high pleasured um, uh, drive for personal satisfaction uh, has failed us enough times for us to recognize, you know what, I'll leave that for the moment. Let me continue to fulfill um, my potential or to explore uh, what is being presented to me right now. Uh, Let me just continue now. You say, how do I stay in that space of one universal love? Universal love uh, is not going to keep holding your hand as a personal love. It wants to naturally absorb the personal because the personal seems to want to go off, uh, go off on its own. So it will absorb if the personal sense is offered or surrendered to the impersonal one. And I can understand that there can come a sense of fear arising in that because we have a taste for the personal and in 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 our high and excited madness we are willing to give up the greatest thing for momentary satisfaction sometimes now that doesn't mean that you're turning your back on the possibility of having a partner but not now not at this moment 
God is calling you. Come, Lord. Come, darling. Come with me. And you're going, yeah, but can I bring this one? Because I'm highly attracted to this one. You see, so these are the kind of temptations that uh, wisdom in you makes the higher choice. It's like that. Um, so you say, how do I stay in that space of one universal love where wants and needs don't creep in? And if I gain that position, will I miss out on the possibility of a true love partner? So you've put that love partnership on a very high pedestal, um, you see, and it seems as though you are uh, risking uh, um, just postponing or suspending or turning away from the, the greater opportunity of awakening to yourself, which may well um, bring forward within its its hugeness and have place for a personal expression of love also, but not the other way around. You cannot ask for this just to satisfy the personal. Yes, you can ask, and it can happen that you may get the taste of that, but you must remember that in itself will not bring you the quality of fulfillment that your soul is yearning for right now. You see? And uh, regardless, freedom is my highest attainment. You finish off with those words. You say highest attainment means that you have attained it already or you hope to attain it. Because as long as you have such a biting urge for something, uh, all I'm, I'm not dismissing that thing. I'm just saying, make use of it. Rather than try to satisfy it, make use of it uh, by looking and, and finding out what is it that feels so desperate. Because when you want something that is phenomenal so badly, it really won't stay with you. Life has higher lessons to learn and greater things to offer, uh, in a sense. So this is the game of the existence. It's about transcending and as long as we keep giving into uh, the desires and easily, we must make use of them. When they itch, you say, "Oh, you know, I really want this." And for a while, we'll give in to them, and life gives room for that. We'll make many mistakes. We'll make lesser choices for a while, until it hurts too much to keep making lesser choices. So I cannot tell you, you know, do this, do this. Not for me. I can say that you must be wise enough to make that choice freely uh, for yourself. I can only point to it. I don't to judge you on this one. Uh, just you, I'm just offering to say, beware of this, because what the, the lesser choice promises, what it cannot fulfill. The greater opportunity fulfills everything. You see? So regardless, you say, freedom is my highest attainment. Uh, you mean that you, you, you hope... Uh, um, because only yes. when you, huh? It, it means that's that's the only thing that matters. But it must matter the most. Uh, when when a thing matters the most, it comes out on top. When it is shared, we 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 swing from branch to branch. Uh, this level of this level of clarity, where one desires something so intensely and for truth you must desire it intensely and then it comes alive inside otherwise the mind will still play subtle forms of avoidances and postponements and so on you see we know these things i can only remind you of it you see the trick of the mind is to say, but, you know, maybe I'll hold off on the enlightenment until I find a partner, because that's what I want on some level. And then maybe we can both get enlightened together, maybe. But uh, what we find is that often the partner, if one comes like that, it seems much more opposed to your going towards this goal you seem to have. And uh, gradually we weaken in our resolve because the passions take over um, from the from the, the discernment, you see, that can happen. We've I've seen it enough also. 
Can I say yes. that when I'm in that space uh, uh, of that, just that love, that isness space, I, it, 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 I, I feel like I'm floating. And sometimes, as I say, I come out of that and, and go into that smaller space of, oh, is this love? Oh, this person's showing me such love. And, I, and I'm there because it's comfortable and it's it's so lovely. And then I don't like it anymore because it's like it's taking me away from that big space. That yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yes. When the big space is not an enjoyment, uh, but a fact, oh. you, will not, you will not leave it. The sense of going and coming will come to an end. Um, it's not going for a higher joy and leaving a lesser joy. It's, uh, it's coming home to yourself. And nothing can, nothing can equate uh, with that. And these are things they may feel very painful in the life. We may <laughs> feel so challenged. Why did God have to make it so hard? Actually, it made it very easy. Mind makes it hard. Lower choices, lower desires make it seem very difficult. How can something be hard? Uh, uh, what you are and cannot and can never not be, but uh, somehow just remain unaware of. What is the difficulty there? You see, because while we have a strong taste of personhood, the person is always seeking pleasures to fulfil its own fantasies and rarely, if ever, um, uh, getting the quality of and the height of enjoyment it can have. But enjoyment is not necessarily happiness, whereas happiness includes much joy. Mm. You see, these things are more strong in the mind than, than they are in actuality. You see, The mind uh, somehow has been dreaming, and developing uh, acute uh, desires and attachments for these states, and feels that it longs to to taste the fulfilment of our projections, you see. Mm. But it just keeps postponing uh, our opportunity. And sometimes I have to speak strongly and say that as long as we keep feeding the personal self, it is like it's like investing in your next birth almost. I'm sorry, this might sound strong for many of you, but I respect you enough to hold you in a high standing from the quality of the letters and uh, the sense of, uh, of maturity that I, I sense from, from you collectively. And I don't mean just those appearing on the screen in front of me, all of you. And you know, it's not an ultimatum. Uh, pure consciousness is not impatient. Thank you, Sutara. Please reflect, Sutara. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you.